I don't really know what my expectations were when I grew up. I just wanted to make games. I didn't really consider where that would take me. Today, I am the chief creative officer here at Mojang in Stockholm. We have uh, more than 120 million monthly active users and uh, more than 200 million sold copies of Minecraft. I often get a question on why is Minecraft so successful? I believe it's the way you interact with the world. It's very simple and uh, you have a big impact on just small actions. You quickly realize that you can build anything, so it gives you a very sense of uh, empowerment. <laughs> I came to Mojang because I've always been making games my entire life. Marcus uh, Passion, he created Minecraft, and his idea was to create more games with the support of the success of Minecraft. I got asked if I knew someone that could help them develop a new game. I said, well, I volunteer myself. For the first year, it was just me and Marcus working on Minecraft. It was really in the spirit, as we say in the, in the industry, like we were just doing things for fun. Sometimes we could have an idea on, on the Monday that was released on the Friday. So it was very high tempo <laughs> and uh, a lot of fun. When I started, the game had already sold 700,000 copies, uh, which was amazing and more or less unheard of in the, like, in the game scene. We believed that we had peaked but we quickly realized that Minecraft is here to stay. So that meant that I would take over the lead development of the creative vision for Minecraft. I think the most fun part about making games is the early phase where everything is possible. And it's both about creating a world, but also creating the rule sets of this world. When I look around, I always look at things and think about them in terms of game development. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a, it's a blessing or a curse. For instance, when we were on a holiday in Singapore, and they have these amazing plants that grow on the trees, like flowers. And I was thinking, oh, that, we could use that. <laughs> like, Sweden might be a good place uh, to be a nerd. <laughs> Well, we have these really long, dark winters, uh, so it's not strange if anyone just stays indoors a whole weekend and working on something on their computers. That's potentially one of the reasons why we have so many good music artists uh, and also game developers, and we're, we have the time to really geek out on specific topics. Så vi har ju precis snapshotat lite olika features till Caves Clips, till exempel koppar. Och vi har fått in lite olika feedback, så jag tänkte kolla lite med dig vad du tänker. Today I'm more guiding and directing ideas. And uh, Agnes Larsson is now leading the design team for Minecraft. We know that kids play a lot of Minecraft. So when we add new features, we try to consider if we can make this feature in a way that teaches and something. One of the reasons why we added bees was to put attention to that bees are very important for pollination but also for the way we produce food. And also Minecraft is a fancy world and not everything works as it does in real life obviously. <laughs> When I play Minecraft with my son, I build things and my son, he wants to go on an adventure. <laughs> so he just says, come on dad, come on dad, we need to go. And I was like, okay, I'll follow you. When we're out exploring, I'm more like, oh, can we go back now? <laughs> can, we, can we continue building on, on the castle instead? <laughs> and he's like, no, no dad. <laughs> I'm always thinking about what I'm working on next. <laughs> You never really sit down and say, oh, this is it. It never really ends. <laughs> you just follow your drive.